Hello folks, Aunt Diane here. It's uh, scam season for gift cards. Actually, all year is scam season for gift cards. Whether it's from a catfish asking for uh, some gift cards because he's stuck and his car's not running and, you know, a gift card will magically make it better, right? Or um, a government agency calls you up and says you're in big trouble, but if you send a gift card, you'll be okay. This is a different kind of gift card scam that you may or may not have heard of. How many times have you walked into a store, like a well-known store, chain store, and see all these gift cards hanging up that you could just buy? Like, oh, that's convenient. I can just send this to so-and-so for their birthday or holiday or just whatever. And it's not always safe to do that, and I'll tell you why. Thieves can take a card off the shelf and actually scratch off the back of the card to get the code that you need to redeem the card. The thief then puts a new scratch off tape over the code. The card looks good as new and there really is such a thing as scratch off tape. So that even if you check with the cashier that, you know, the money is there, good on the card, they check it. What's to stop it from being no good a week from now, two weeks from now, or by the time you send it to the recipient. Even if you shop in a store where they keep the gift cards behind the counter so that nobody could mess with them beforehand, occasionally a dishonest cashier will actually give you a different card than what you paid for. So when you get it, please double check that on your receipt, it's the same card number and you know, everything that matches. For this reason, I no longer trust physical gift cards. I mean, if you did buy it over the counter, a physical gift card, and they do the switcheroo on you, you can always ask them to check that the gift card is good right then and there, even if it does match. But if they have that number, you know, what's to stop them from stealing it later? But that's a less uh, frequent scenario but I do like to send virtual cards so that the person gets it through their email, especially from say Amazon or Target or something. And unfortunately there's no 100% guarantee, but it's still a lot safer than physical gift cards. Send your scam stories, and that includes all types of scams, to Instagram antian157 or kookyoldgal62 at gmail.com. Your identity will not be revealed.